What is going on boys and girls? What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video today. Sorry. Today boys and girls, we are going to the biggest Audi event. I, you know, I keep doing this because like, I watch too much of uh, Gordon Ramsay. If you guys know, obviously if you're Gordon Ramsay, it's yeah, we're actually following uh, a few of your boys' cars, so just show, show the people. And then behind as well, we've got Dad, and then a load of other Contra Sports as well. Yeah, so we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. Yeah, we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. So we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. So we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. So we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. So we're going to be going to Audi Event 2023. And wide for this event. People travel days and spend days, such as your boy, cleaning their car for this one event. And also, most of these cars are probably garage queens, like Gary and Darren. If their car never comes out, never, apart from this one event. So that is how special it is. But yeah, today we are hoping for good weather as well. This is the most I've been excited for. I, like I said, I've prepped for two days for this. We bought so many. I, I bought a little thing as well. I, I said in the last video what I bought, but I'm gonna show you guys that as well. It's hosted at Dean Park, again, the same place as last time. So yeah, we're literally just driving there now. We've uh, met up with all of the gang. There's literally about, it's probably about 10, 10 15 Quattro Sports. What would you say? 10, about 10, 10 Quattro Sports. Yeah, it's, it's so cool just seeing uh, all the colours. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm the only blue Quattro Sport here. No. Am I not? Fuck. <laughs> Am I not? <laughs> I thought. Damn it, I thought. It's the blue one, but not a black roof. Yeah, but not a black roof. Yeah, that's not a Quattro Sport then. So your boys are... <laughs> Today is about looking for a family car as well. <laughs> so we're gonna look at some so we're gonna look at some RS6s. <laughs> oh, I wish you could show your face right now. Just a field full of Aldis. And a dog. Speed <laughs> Oh boys, today Today's gonna to be a good day, I'm so excited for this. Just currently getting parked up at the minute. Oh, some bad boy cars here. to these type of vents and like cleans it like your boy. If you guys are interested in this, I'm gonna leave a link as well in the description, you guys can go over. Nobody will want this one. Sure, everyone's gonna get one now. So windy. So boys and girls, I don't know if you can hear me very well because it is extremely windy at the minute. We have just left the Quattro Sport Owners Club which is just over here. Spent ages cleaning my car. There are still people turning up as you can see. 
or the person turning up. Yeah, but we are just behind the Mark 1 TT forms, which is the guy, the link that I always leave in the description. The sun is out, the sun is coming out. Stay out, please. The car park is still filling up. This place doesn't really open until 10 o'clock. So it's still, no, I wouldn't say dead, but obviously people are, are still setting up. So, oh, there's a few Mark 1 TT parts there. Huh? Yeah, still people are setting up. I cannot wait to show you guys some of the cars that are here today. There is one car that I'm really excited to see, it's Merlin. I'll leave his Instagram just here, you guys can go follow him. But yeah, he's constantly doing stuff to the build, but his base kind of car is the S3 Saloon. But, oh, I'm so excited. What the hell is that? Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, another. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Oh, Quattro Tech. It's your boys. I don't know where to start. Look at these, man. Off-road. Quattro. Ha! This is sick! Oh, it's left-hand drive as well. Safari edition. Oh, my God. Bro, they're the exhausts. How cool is this? It's a TT Safari Edition and then a Club Sport Turbo. Look at this monster, bro. Left hand drive again, R8 steering wheel as well. Manual, Jesus. Oh my god, come. Oh my god. Look at the exhaust, boys. Jesus Christ, some huge ass spaces. <laughs> this, this is the car that I was talking about. Oh my God. There he is, the legend. Mate, this car looks insane. Look at it. Look at it. How are you doing, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, please explain, because I've already hyped you up, you need to, Explain what exactly what you've done to it. Uh, it's stage two, 420 brake, uh, bagged up HRE wheels. And that's it, really, mate. What do you want to know? <laughs> I want to know. HR wheels are very big in America. Yeah. What what persuaded you with the HRE wheels? See many of them in England. That's true. A bit different. Wanted to not just have a build car with bags and wheels. Yeah. It's got everything else, mate. Power and all of that. But yeah, seven weeks to get them. Got them the other day. And yeah, they fit perfect as well. Yeah, a bit of a light, light alignment issues trying to get them just to tap in that. But yeah, yeah, it's nice, mate. It's nice, it's absolutely awesome. The paintwork as well is incredible. So yeah, that's it, really. On the internet. what's the P3 gauge? What's that? Uh, it's basically so you've got like cooling temperatures, air intake temperatures, yep, um, 0 to 60 times, true speed, true RPM. And it's just, it's all in one, and it's done for the OBD ports. Right. It's not like, you're not tapping into a boost line or anything, you're not yeah. adding boost leaks. So yeah. It's incredible. Is it still warm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you can give it a little rev, yeah? <laughs> Lose, I'd, I'd take it well away. <laughs> Have you uh, tinted the lights on it as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, these have been tinted. These are to be tinted, so it's just a light smoke just to right. the redness off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it fits really well, doesn't it? It almost makes it kind of a purple, like sits yeah, in well with the it, car. It. It's got two black, like see some of them, like that obviously suits it being black on black. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want it to be the thing is though, I, I like the fact when, I know obviously number plate smoked and stuff like that, but I do like it with a little bit of red like that. That's that's good, yeah. like that as well. That's good. Too much, I think, is 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 too much. It's gorgeous. You've done a great job. How do you keep your paintwork in such good condition? I've been ceramic coated. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's, I, I just need to take it twice a month. Yeah. And just try and keep on top of it, really. I really want to ask. I don't want to be intrusive, but how much for the wheels? Because I know, I know, HREs. I was saying to you, Anna, HREs are very expensive. Silly money, mate, put it that way. Upwards of like five figures. Yeah, uh, four figures. Four figures. Yeah, yeah. Nine? 
No, less. Eight? Less. Five? Six? Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, mate, that's insane. It had to be done, though, mate. But the thing is, though, I guarantee that you'd be the only person on the HRE wheels here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've had a little walk around. I haven't seen any others. No. It's, uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to get them, because it's just something different. That's it. Yeah. Do not conform. Yeah, that's it, mate. Exactly. The sheep exactly, the yeah. Right. And yeah. this definitely does. It sounds incredible. Thank you very much. Yeah, you've done a good job. Good. Hopefully, I'll be able to contend with something like this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, what? This should, uh, should give it away. Oh my god, it's a manual as well. Oh Jesus. Down here, you might not be able to see it very well, but you can see the, the downpipes all here. Oh, yeah, you can see them all like the blue, like is it like titanium? I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, they're all titanium, so it's all like Jeez. you can see it where it's all iodized. <laughs> Colour the heat, yeah, you get that if, if you, um, bluey effect. If you look under the car, it's unbelievable, like, is it's it? Just, yeah, it's a massive blue. system under the car. So you can't get underneath it now. These are the engines though, you just can keep tuning them, can't you? Yeah, I want to get this all done eventually. Yeah. Carbon, you can it's get all that done in carbon. It's yeah, it's quite, quite good. That little clip that you just saw of that RS7, that's that's owned by a guy called Absolute Cars. I'll link his Instagram here and again probably in the description. But yeah, you can go over to him and, and watch some of his videos, but that car is is insane. So he was saying that it's stage two tunes, meal tech exhaust, all the bells and whistles, it's like 850 horsepower. And the best thing about it, boys, it's gonna take us out with it. So me and Dad are things. Did you come in Lars? Yeah. <laughs> So, me and Dad are going to go out in it, he's going to take it for a hoon, his words not mine, he's only either going to do the speed limit so it's, it's alright, I need to go and have a look at these bad boys as well. But yeah, I need to go and have my Maccas that I bought like this morning that I've still not had, it's probably like stone cold as well which is good. Yeah, there we go, Gary, chatting shit, doesn't even know what he's on about. Oh yeah, my car's in the garage all the time, I never get it out, man. You know your boy likes blue. But I think this just takes it a smidge. This is this is maybe uh, I'd like to say too far, but holy shit, this is a lot of blue. <laughs> look at it, man, it's crazy. Oh my god, look at that! <gasps> look at that! Oh my god, it's so cool. No, it's a barbecue. Oh my god! <laughs> so that's literally the best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's not bad. Gas as well, it's not safe, so we can turn it off, it's safe. I need to do this for like an Audi TT now. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not mine. This is so cool. Like literally everything is in here as well. I think what I love most as well about Audis in the park is the fact that obviously it's Audis in the park but they are literally everywhere like there's their own like kind of little clubs everywhere so Audi owns club and then there's obviously more like kind of that start off every year but like literally it's the far as I can see like the banners obviously you can see they are all different people and all, all different clubs it's so cool how like having a passion such as like owning an Audi or just owning a car in general can bring so many people together like these people come obviously come and see like meet up every month or whatever for car shows and people develop relationships friendships and stuff like that it's great and people that have the same passion such as your boy can look at all the nice cars and be like oh, i'm getting one of them because that's mostly what i'm kind of doing mia come with you hey 
<laughs> Look at you, you hold on. It's such like a. <laughs> As your boy gets older, obviously, your boy wants a family. But we're always toying with the ideas, obviously, over the next car. But I don't. There's a person sitting in it, so I can't get too close. <laughs> But yeah, looking at something like this, like an SQ5, these are so expensive for kind of what they are, but they are so nice, like how they sound as well is awesome. But they are nice, but I'm not too sure, just inside, like, inside these, the interior is not very good. I would show you, there's probably another one around here somewhere, obviously, but yeah, the interior is not very nice on this. But it's not, it's like really outdated. But obviously with like the newer ones it's, it's a lot nicer but they're a damn sight more expensive so that is partly what today's about as well as car shopping wow this this is really nice all this <laughs> see that guys that was that was a thumbs up that was a Yes, we could do that, we could buy that. Or this. This is a family car. Audi R8 V10 Plus. This is family enough. Oh, nice for the car bits as well, just a fedora. That's what, that's what happens when you reach boys, just fedora. Really cool interior, it's like a grey and obviously the orange starburst, which obviously the colour is, but it's really off the wall, I like that, it's cool. Kind of matches the obviously the wheels as well. So we've literally just had dinner. Um, Pack the chairs away. Turn around. Saw this. What is that? Look at it. That's the weather that we've just had, and then this is coming over. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try and get as much footage in as possible before it really does start coming down because it is going to come down big time but there is still quite a few cars obviously here a few people have already left Darren's left me I'm lunching for a wee I don't mind video and weeing I video and weeing for some reason not brand new A1 that is that's really cool that does S7 oh look at that Is this it then? Calm fibre as well. Ooh. Do you know what's been done to it then? He's done, I think he's done a new gearbox and all that lot down in for like last time he lost the first thing, just got a new gearbox on. Right. Look at the calm fibre, that's yeah. walnuts, nice, isn't it? Forge as well. Nice. What brakes has it got on it? The the split ones as well. They're yeah. big boys, isn't they? Very nice. This is cool though. See, I knew you saw this. <laughs> that Voss and wheels. They're some big boys they are. What do you think? See, look at that. See, she got a smile on her face now, boys. Do we buy one of these? Or do we go with a newer Q7, Q5? The thing is, like I said with these, it's just the interior that lets it down. It just looks rubbish. Come fibra. It does look mean though, doesn't it? I mean, look at the front. Damn. Damn. So yeah, currently, uh, it's just started raining. Great. Sit. Get in, get in. Uh, get in, get in. Right. Yeah, so as I was just saying, the weather has all of a sudden, yeah, I definitely took a turn for the way. It'll pass. That's what we're hoping for. Absolutely safe. Look at it, man, it's rolling down. Man. Why does this have to happen, bro? <laughs> that, 
Oh, Dad's gone toilet as well. Dad's gone toilet, so he's had to run all the way down there to the toilet to run all the way back up there. Oh, he could do the same thing. They'll have to wait in the toilet. <laughs> oh my god, look at it! Look at it! <laughs> oh, it's all pouring in! Oh my god! Jeez! Oh my god, look at it! <gasps> I would kind of like to stay here longer, but as you can see, it's literally meant to be raining for like the next, well, all the way up until 8 p.m. And I'm pretty sure this place is meant to close at then. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it. Um, bit of an abrupt ending to an event. I didn't kind of get to look at all the cars that I wanted to look at, which is kind of annoying. Again, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Huge shout out to obviously Calvin who put on this show. It's so good every single year. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Audis. They're going as well. Yeah, we, we are literally the last people. <laughs> we are the last people, guys. Everyone else is gone. Mia's also tired. Oh, look at you. Mia's had a busy day. She's had a busy day. Trying to eat all the chips on the floor. Yeah, you had a busy day. Hey. So yeah, she's gonna get a snuggle on the way home. Let us know the next meet you're at, man. Yeah, we will do. Nice to see you again, anyway. Nice to see you, mate. Congratulations on the car, by the way. <laughs> mate, you look Right, see you later. Thank you. See you later. So yeah, I actually influenced them buying that car, which is kind of cool. They asked me a lot of things, obviously, about the car. So yeah, they now own a Quattro Sport. But yeah, congratulations. I know you're probably watching this video. Congratulations to you guys on the car. It is driven as well every single day, or well, pretty much every day, I think, apart from the other garage queens like here, like Darren and, and Gary and stuff. But <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a really good day. Again, I apologize for the kind of abrupt ending. Just want to give a shout out as well to Insurance For You. They are our newest sponsor. Everything is still in the works at the minute, so I don't want to tell too much to you guys, but I'm going to make a completely separate video about that and what that's all going to be about and how it's going to affect you guys and what you guys can get from, get from this sponsorship. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Josh. This has been Lauren. This has been Smeagol. Hey, Smeagol. <laughs> and that was our POV. Peace out, guys.